Hi guys, welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. Today we will go through the day 30 problem from the June Lead Coding Challenge. Word Search 2. Please like the video and if you are new, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you never miss any update. Given a 2D board and a list of words from the dictionary, we need to find all words in the board. Each word must be constructed from the letters of sequentially adjacent cells where adjacent cells are those horizontally and vertically neighboring. And the same letter must not be used more than once in a word. For the example given, we could find oath and eat in the board. So the program returns these two words. We must note that the input consists of lowercase letters a to z and the value of word will be distinct. The basic idea would be to apply a DFS on each word and check if it is present on the board. This approach will take a lot of time and will exceed the time limit for a larger input. For this problem, try would prove to be effective as it will not only tell the membership of a word but also it can instantly find the words that share a given prefix. We have made a video on how to construct a tri data structure. Before proceeding further, I'll suggest you guys to check out the video on try at the top as we will be using this concept further in this video. The first step to solve this problem would be creating the try for the given words. The try here would contain three values, the link to the child character, the marker to denote if it is the end of word and the word itself. Here's the final try for the given input. Now let's take the input board and start with the first element. As O is connected to the root, we would go ahead and search if its adjacent elements are also present in the try with the prefix O. As mentioned in the question, we can move in all four directions, but as the arrows marked in red are outside the board, they'll get eliminated in our boundary conditions. So let's take a look at the boundary condition. The first four points denote the lower and upper bound for the board, and the last one denotes the exit condition for character not found in the try. For our example, we can see that we have a connection to A in the try, so we move in this direction and find if any of its adjacent element is present in the try. But let's wait here for a moment. As per the question, the same letter cell must not be used more than once in a word. So we cannot visit the element we had come from again while moving forward. This adds one more exit condition. The cell must be unvisited. Moving forward, we see T is present in the try and was adjacent to A. So we move here and search its adjacent values and find H. As H is the end of the word, we will add the word in the result list and keep searching if any more words with prefix oath are in the try and board. As there is no more child left in the try after H, our loop breaks. Now we will backtrack again to the source. While doing so, we will remove the visited marker from the cell and move to the next cell to check if there exists a word in the try with prefix as the current cell value A. As there is none, we keep moving through the board. While continuing this process on the input board, we will also find the word eat. So we will add it in the result list. At the end, we will return our result list. Here's the algorithm. We will first initialize a list result. We will then create a try for the input words. For each value in the board, we will search the character in the root of try. If the character is present, we mark the board cell visited and check if any of its adjacent value is the child of the current try node. If yes, we keep checking till we find the full word. If the word is present, we add it in the result list. Otherwise, we backtrack to the initial position while doing so, we will also unmark the cells from visited to non-visited. At the end, we will return the result list. The time complexity for this algorithm is O of m multiplied by 4 into 3 raised to l minus 1, where m is the total number of cells in the board. L is the maximum length of the word. The space complexity for this algorithm is O of n, where n is the total number of letters in the dictionary or the input word list. Here's the code snippet. Also, check out the link to the Java code in the description below. Thanks for watching the video.
If you like the video, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comments what you think about the video.